Yay, somebody brought me a present today. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's a Toshiba Tegra 510 CDT. It's a really old laptop, probably built back in the 1990s or something like that. Uh, it's basically a pretty heavy brick. Yeah. And the only reason why I did that is because it doesn't have a hard drive in it, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, no adapter, no hard drive, not even the tray. It's kind of sad, actually. But it did come with a battery, though. Uh, it lasts about two hours, too. But hey, what could I be doing on a laptop that has no hard drive in it for two hours? Well, it actually has a floppy drive in it. And actually, I wasn't really using it for two hours straight. It kind of just sits there as I'm programming this thing. Uh, Pac-Man's not actually on this thing. It's a operating system. No, it's not MS-DOS. It's an actual GUI uh, graphic, graphical user interface right here on this disk called Calibri OS. And if you haven't heard of it, you might want to Google it because it actually kind of works. Uh, Calibri OS is basically a uh, operating system that was built in something called assembly. Um, so everything that it's built upon, it's actually really lightweight. There's no heavy-duty programming or anything fancy about it or anything like that. It's all... You know, kind of simple. So here we go. We have a 800 by 624 bit active uh, active matrix or something like that TFT display here. Uh, on the inside, the specs are really kind of low. It's got a 133 megahertz uh, Pentium processor. That's it. Not MMX, just the Pentium. 32 megabytes of RAM, and uh, a a chips technology one megabyte video card if you could even call it video. It doesn't really play video. It shouldn't even be called a video card at all. It should just be called a chip with memory on it that makes pictures. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think the front side bus on this whole system is like 33 megahertz or something like that. Compare that to all today's computers. Yeah. Anyway, it, uh, it does work, believe it or not. Um, boot it up real quick here. Yay, lights! All right, it's up and running. It's dating 1997. I highly doubt that. I think that's because I recently updated the BIOS, but whatever. So here we're uh, showing we got 30, 32 megabytes in here. And it's giving me the error of insert system disk and drive and press any key when you're ready. And I press the space bar, I get the same error get the same error. Why is that? Because, oh, I forgot to put the uh, floppy disk in there. Let's do that. Yeah. Alright, it's in there. Let's press that di that that space bar again. Alright, we're starting the operating system. Alright, here's the main thing. Just basically, it wants to, it wants to know if you want to change any options or anything like that. And now, it's going to load up the operating system, which takes uh, 30 seconds or something like that. It's going to load the whole floppy disk into memory now. And then after that, it's going to run the whole operating system straight from the uh, uh, um, from the RAM. And when you're done with it, before you shut it down, you go and save everything that you've done. And it rewrites everything that you've done and made changes to the operating system. And puts it back onto the floppy disk for it to use later. So now it's at 65, then it starts up at 90, 70... 75. Don't you love this blue screen that looks all yellow and stuff now? Alright, here we go. Yay, everything's turning white again. Alright, so you got some basic looking Linux looking crap. Alright, so here's your uh, your OS here. Calibri OS. And you got some basic programs like games and things like that. It's more or less a proof of concept yet again. It's like, hey, we can run an operating system right there on your your uh, floppy drive. That's actually pretty cool, though, because if you get the right system and all the chips and whatnot, you can actually have sound, MP3s. You can even have ATI. There's an ATI video card driver in this dang thing, uh, which isn't usable on this thing. And there's also a, um, uh, a audio. What did I say? Audio uh, only runs through AC97 sound cards. And you can even network with this thing. 
Uh, wireless cards even apparently work with this thing as well, but you have to have a very, like there's only very certain drivers for certain cards out there. So you have kind of have to work around their specifications right now until they get it all done. This is kind of a new thing, I think. Uh, so yeah, all this network stuff doesn't work on here because I don't have anything network wise, but it would be great if they had dial up or something like that because they do have a dial up card over there on the side. Um, it does have a CD player, but unfortunately there's no CD drive on this thing, so that doesn't work. And then there's something called mid-amp, which is a MIDI player. Uh, a very basic MIDI player due to the fact that all it has is a PC speaker sound system hooked into this thing right now. And this is kind of what it sounds like. And the people who made this are Russian, hence the following. Oh, I guess it's not going to play sound this time. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. It's not playing sound this time. Weird. Well, it'll play some type of sound file through the PC speaker whenever you get it to work right, but for some reason it's not going to do it this time. And it also does pictures, if you can fit any of them on the floppy disk, that is. I think you can also set those as desktop backgrounds as well. Moink. There you go. Ta-da. Alright, happy face. We got a desktop now. Ooh, we're really working now. Alright, so uh, let's go play a game. Ooh, Pong. Oh my gosh, I've never played this in so long. Oh my god, I'm winning. Up, uh, I just won. Alright, uh, just won again. I didn't even get to touch the ball. Up uh, again, I didn't even get to touch the ball. Oh, here we go. Yay. Uh, that was alright. And here we go again. And oh, yeah, okay. All right, so you kind of get the idea. I'm kind of kicking the living crap out of this laptop right now. It's like, the oh, shoot, I just lost. Oh, he's actually putting up a fight this time. All right. Oh, I can move forward. Look at this crap. This is like cheating. Oh, now I'm really losing. <laughs> All right, I didn't even know I could do that before. All right, cool. All right, so now I'm losing against it, whatever. I just got my butt whooped by uh, like a 10 or 20 year old laptop, nice. All right, let's see what else we got. Some little mowing game here in uh, Tetris, I think, somewhere too. Let me see. Where is that? I thought we had Tetris. Oh, here we go, Tetris. Yay. All right, so we get the idea again. And there's also uh, something up here called Tiny Pad. The best use that I could even think of this, I think it's uh, a, a programming application so that you can program your own applications for this if you learn the assembly code thing. But the best idea that I can come up with this since I don't know assembly is, you know, some type of word pad to type up journals and stuff like that since the floppy disk could definitely hold up all that stuff. And then you go and uh, file and uh, there's no save as button. Um, Alright, and then file and save. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, that's the best that I could think of that. Would you like to save this? Uh, no. No. Bye. Oh, so there you go. Whole operating system just on a floppy disk. Uh, I wish I could have showed you more, but uh, unfortunately I don't have a networking card and I don't have the AC97 chip, but if you do have these on your computer, this might be able to bring your computer back to life. I heard that AC97 cards were in a lot of older machines as well, so this could bring something to life. So yeah, now that I showed you that I can get my butt whooped and freaking pong on a computer, now it's time to just tell the computer to shut up. There you go. That's the oldest heck laptop that runs like kind of fast for something like that. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. See you guys later.